Okay, have a look at this ICOM question. Um, these are your finance chapters, all right? These are your finance chapters, okay? Now let's go to this requirements here. Let's look at what do they want here. Critically evaluate the mission statement, critical success factor, and KPI suggested by John Turbo. 15 marks. So all you have to do is criticize that. Actually, not. Critically evaluate. What, what looks good? Anything good about it? Anything bad about it? Are you clear? Uh, discuss how benchmarking could be used in ICOM. Do you know the different types of benchmarking? Yes, no? Hopefully, you know the different types of benchmarking. What's the different types of benchmarking that you have? Anybody knows? You got internal benchmarking, someone? Functional benchmarking? As in class? Anything else? Competitive benchmarking or strategic benchmarking, right here? Right. Discuss the role of integrated reporting. Do you remember the word integrated reporting? Yes, no? Did I ask you to memorize it? You still remember the zombies? Yes, no? You still remember the zombies, right? Didn't I show you zombies before? Yeah. Yes, no? You remember zombies, yes or no? I'm not talking about Walking Dead. I'm, I'm sure you thought about Walking Dead, yes or no? Like, yes, I know zombies from Walking Dead. Uh, any other zombies you know? Plant versus zombies, yes or not? Remember the plant versus zombies. You do need to remember what's inside it. Can you recall now without looking? The six capitals. Human capital, somehow. Oh, sunny is coming on your head. How come that's so fast now? Is it locked in your head somewhere? Someone? Human manufacturing? Social? Natural manufacturing, someone? Well, you forget the map, do you? Social and relationship. And intellectual, the brain. You should watch the game, play the game. You will hear the zombie say brain halfway through the game. Okay, now, uh, so you do need to know this one about. Discuss the role of integrated reporting in relation to communication, strategy, and business performance. Well, do you know the components of integrated reporting? Yes, no? Yes, I know. Life is kind of sad suddenly. You can't recall anything you study. You're wondering, what did you study all this while? We you mean study? Do you know what's the con uh, contents of integrated reporting? Yes, no? No idea. Never mind. It's okay. It'll come to you slowly. It's only five marks. You can write it off. After all, as an accountant, you know something called impairment, right? The impairment. <laughs> okay, now, uh, let's go on. Let's go to this question first. So this question asks you to... Okay, I'm going to just put these boxes out. Do you think you can fill up these boxes first? Do a really fast read, classify that. Open your notes first. Open it, open your whole file. Okay, you know you have to open a whole file, right? Yes, no? You're always waiting for me to do the answer, right? You know what is that called, right? What is that called? No, paper saving. You're trying to be helping the environment by saving a piece of paper. Yes, I know. You're, you're very, very, very uh, green. Unfortunately, you're green the wrong way. It looks like Hulk. You need to just use a piece of paper. That's all. A scrap paper. I need a scrap paper. Use, use it now. Use it. And this question is a very nice question. Look, it's a long, tedious question. Designed by the P5 examiner. I repeat, it's designed by the P5 examiner. This is how P5 paper actually looks like. Huh? Yeah, P5 looks like this. There is some similarity between P3 and P5. Follow, don't follow. Any of you doing P5? Planning to do P5? One, that's all. Two. Anybody else? Three. Four. Scary, is it? Have you done, you've done P6 already, right? 
past it already, right? Okay, never mind, still got time. The, the optionals are not changing, don't worry. The optionals don't change until September 2018. You know, in September 2018, there's a new qualification coming up. ACC is launching a new qualification across the board. P4, 5, 6, 7, no more optional mark questions. There's right now, there's, they'll give like choice question. In September 2018, they're removing the choice. They say, suffer, suffer, do everything. You know why, right? Cut costs. Yeah, because they only need to mark four questions. Right now, they have to mark you know, choice question. It increases the cost of marking. And the cost of prep preparing question, because each question they charge about maybe £1,000 or £2,000. So if an uh, exam paper is created, they have to charge maybe like the major 50 marks question, they charge about £5,000. Okay, that's the way they create exam paper. When you write an exam paper, they'll charge you, they'll, they'll charge, the, the, the examiners will charge the company, the ACCA. They all don't know, is it? Yeah. The markers get paid about, well, I got, I got a friend who marks, he gets about, every three months, he gets about $40,000 from ACCA for marking for two weeks. <laughs> 40000 thank you. <laughs> Yeah, he makes about hundred twenty thousand dollars working only for two months. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Okay, now two months lah. Too little money, right? <laughs> okay, now are we looking at this question? Hurry up, look at the question. You understand the requirements, right? Criticize the mission. Criticize the critical success factor. Criticize the KPIs. There's a little bit on benchmarking, right? Okay, try it out. Align the KPI, the mission, critical success factor. And is it really critical success factor in KPI? Okay, let's go through this question. Huh? Um, ICOM is a professional scheme of examination available to student members which leads certified operations manager status when completed and supported by accepted portfolio of practical experience. ICOM has support, ha also supports full members who can achieve their certification 
or have completed examination in the process of gaining relevant experience by offering a range of member services, including professional development courses. Similarly, services are offered by a close rival operations management institute. So you got a competitor, okay? No? Okay. ICOM has experienced decline in both full membership and student members in the last five years, despite uh, there being an increased demand for operation management in the organization. OMI has published data showing that it's increased student membership by 27% and um, full members by 12% in the same period. So, look, these guys are increasing, you are decreasing. Got it? Okay. Uh, the revenue and profitability at ICOM, a company limited by guarantee, has also been declining over the last five years. So, you've got drop in profit. Uh, there are opposing views within ICOM about the reason of decline. Some directors, including John Tobi, believe the absence of formal strategic plan Identifying critical areas for success has meant lack of direction and focus. However, another member of senior management suggests that the main reason for ICOM problem is the inefficiency of the student recruitment process. Okay. They're looking at a process and how to improve the process. Okay. You're looking at a single process. That means what? What kind of benchmarking should you do? What kind of benchmarking should you do? Functional benchmarking, which relates to best in class. Got it? Okay. Uh, he feels company need to understand how other organizations, such as OMI, do this and put changes in place to improve process in ICOM. To support his viewpoint, John was asked to write a strategic plan to address how to regain lost membership and grow market share to compete with OMI. A mission statement, critical success factor, and key KPI were all to be included in the plan. As he has not completed a plan before, John has asked your views about the plan. Mission statement. I suggest we replace our current mission statement, simply the best in operations management, with a more focused mission statement. Our mission is to satisfy the needs of our members, to inspire our student members, and to motivate our staff to provide the best possible service. Well, that looks like a mouthful, yes or not? Correct? So can you criticize this? Yes or no? Can you criticize this? And mission statement. Hello, do you know? Do you remember a model for mission statement? What's the name of the model? PSP Vita. What does that stand for? Purpose, values, policy, strategy. Remember? I'll put that down. Write it down. Did you write it down when you read it? No. Mission. Four elements: purpose, strategy. Policy values. Are you clear or not? Okay. Now, what do you think about that one? Then critical success factors. Do you know what is critical success factor? Yes, no? Yeah, what do you need to be successful in? Correct? Okay. Uh, these are things we are going to focus on in the long term to help us achieve our growth and fulfill our mission statement. Altogether, if I identify 35 critical success factors, that sounds like too much. Yes or no? You should just circle the 35 and say, are you crazy? Okay. Now, the next one you should go. There's a full list available on our staff intranet, but the most important ones are shown below. To satisfy our members, to grow membership by 5% year on year in the next 5 years, to maximize profit within acceptable risk, to ensure that syllabus is in line with current operational management environment. Okay, now, are all this critical success factor or not a critical success factor? Well, number two is not a critical success factor. Number two is a, well, it's an objective, isn't it? Why? It's got the characteristics of SMART. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, timely. Remember all those words? Objectives need to be SMART. And that seems to be an objective. Okay, To maximize profit within acceptable. Well, this is not really related to the mission statement, but you are expected to do this if you are a business organization. To ensure that syllabus is in line with current operation management environment. What do you think about this one? Uh, is this, a, is this a critical success factor? Syllabus in line with current operation management. What do you think? What is it? Sounds like a control element. Yes or no? Okay. Um, the next one, KPIs. What about the KPIs? 95% members rate us as excellent 
in an externally administrated customer satisfaction survey to implement vigorous marketing campaign to return on capital employed margin of safety to recruit examination manager to rewrite syllabus are all these kpis yes no yes sir See, you're supposed to critically evaluate it. The guy already says he's done it, doing it for the first time. Obviously, he's supposed to make a mistake. Your job is to detect the mistakes. Okay, no. Okay. Let me show you how to go about doing this one. All right? So, this one, we're going to do ICOM. All right? The first one is the mission statement. Uh, what are you going to say about the current mission statement? Anything good about it? Current one is simple and easy to remember. This is vital for a mission statement. Current mission ignores values, policies, and purpose. Interest. Does it make sense? Device mission identifies what does the device mission do? Inspire, inspire those students, right? Motivate staff and and satisfy members. Correct. Too long. a critical success factor
Oh, I'm handling the question. Yes, no. You don't need to write too much, right? You just have to say something about each critical success. Got it? Clear or not clear? Does that make sense? KPI. What are you going to say about the KPI? KPI 3, right? What is critical success factor 1? No, critical success factor 3. KPI 1 is what? Eh? KPI 3 is written margin of safety. KPI 1 is, what did I say about KPI 1? Um, is a target since it has a KPI 1 is a target since it's a performance objective of 95%. If this is removed, it will be considered as a KPI. KPI 1 relates to what? Eh? So to satisfy the members, yes or no? KPI 1 is related to CSF 1. Showing Okay, done. Does it make sense now what we are doing right now? Clear now. Quite, quite easy actually now, right? What are you doing? Yes or no? Matching. Can you understand the idea of matching it now? If you knew that this was the task, you would have said like this is ridiculously easy, correct? Unfortunately, when you do the exam, you won't know this is the task. Therefore, you thought it was hard. Are we clear? That's why it's, you need to try first and then you figure out, ah, it was that easy. Got it? And another thing, eh, in the exam, it is that easy. Full stop. Don't sit there questioning, can it be this easy? Once you start questioning it, you know what you do? You unnecessarily complicate it. 
then you know, supposed to get easy mark, you go and mess it up and get zero marks. Because you just couldn't believe it's that easy. Follow? This is a sad story, isn't it? Like people give you the biscuit and you say, no, no, I want to travel all the way to some far country to buy the biscuit, you know. Travel, you don't want to get it straight when it's given to you. Don't complicate things, right? Okay, no. Try not to complicate things. What? I've already done KPI 1 and 3. Can you do KPI 2 and 4? Yes. What do you think about KPI 2? KPI 2 and 4 are not KPI but actions that need to be undertaken. They do not have measurement ability. Does that make sense? KPI 3 has margin of safety, which is useful to indicate risk. Are you clear? Follow on this one. Any questions there? Clear. The next one is part B. This is competitive benchmarking. Industry.
That's about it. Right, last part, part C. How does IR help, right? You know how to write IR, right? That's the way you write IR short form. You know that, right?
Okay, done. That's your IR. It basically looks... IR, you need to know certain things. I hope you remember all the co components of IR. Huh? Six capital, contents and principles. There are four things you need to remember for IR. Do you know the four things for IR? Uh, you got IR. Huh? You got contents. Then you got the capitals. Then you got the principles. Then you got the core principles. Contents, you got organization, you got governance, you got risk, you got business model, you got risk. Strategy, performance, and you got also basis. Capitals, you got human, financial, natural, manufacturing, social, and the last one you got is intellectual. Okay, principles, you got conciseness, conciseness, connectivity. Stakeholder and strategy. You got material T. You need to make sure only material information are shown. Stakeholder focus, strategy focus. You got concise, being concise, being connected. Clear or not clear? You need to be also complete. You need to also be comparable. Consistent and relevant. There's a lot of things there, yes or no? And the last one, core principle, value creation, value generation, the values. I tell you, how you generate value in the value creation process. That's basically IR, actually. They, they, they have kind of a big approach for IR. Got it? Yes. You can't memorize all of that. Yes, you can. How? There is a way. There is always a way. Like for example, the first one is connected, right? The first one is C for principles connected, right? Just remember Wi-Fi symbol. Concise, remember scissors. Does that make sense? Strategy, remember Tony Stark. Then you got another one. S, what's the next S? Stakeholder, remember a steak. Good night steak. Are you clear? Then you got comparability. Pair. Clear? Then you got another one is C, what is that? Consistency. Clear? What's another C there? Complete. How do you remember complete? Uh, you can just put plate. Complete. There's a plate there, right? Does that make sense? Then the last one, relevant, railway. Are you clear now? Oh, that's the way I remembered it actually. <laughs> Tony Stark. Why Stark? Stark was strategy. Are you clear now? Follow, don't follow? Clear. So, those are the components or core principles. M stands for material key. You need to present material information. Got it now? Get the picture there. Connected means you must show how everything is interconnected. All the information, how do they connect to each other? Clear, not clear? Okay. This one you already know, right? Capitals. Contents, you know, no? It's not so hard. It's organ, glove, business model, models, yes or no? Then you got R. 
risk and opportunity. So just remember opportunity, OPPO. Okay, then you got Tony Stark strategy. Clear. Then you got P Pitbull performance. Ah, I've got one more thing in the middle here. One more word. There's one more word you need here. What is that? Oh, F stands for? Future outlook. Future outlook. Okay. Are we okay then? Can? You do need to memorize certain things. This is one thing that you have to memorize because it affects all the papers you study. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, and P7. Since you have like so many papers, you have to memorize it. Clear now? You better spend time to memorize it. Why do you think I memorized it? You have to teach all the papers, so you have to memorize it some way. Clear? Follow, don't follow. Okay. Any questions there? And I will stop here today. I will see you on Thursday. Thursday, right? Wednesday. Sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. I will see you on Wednesday.